Hi everyone, Josh here with Online ADA. In this video, we're covering 3.2.1 on focus. This is a single level requirement, and I will jump into the description. When any component receives focus, it does not initiate a change of context. That's it. It's really simple. Um, take, for example, a form on a page. If you tabbed through the inputs and you entered your content, and as soon as you tabbed to the submit button, it submitted the form. That would be pretty aggravating. You didn't hit the enter button. You didn't click the button. You just went and took you to a new page because you simply focused on it. That would be a horrible experience. Um, that's what this is saying. Whenever you tab to something using the keyboard, then your focus isn't automatically moved to someplace else on the page unless that's the expected behavior, like if you initiated um, a modal or dialog box to uh, come up because you entered on a button or clicked on a button, then we would expect the focus to shift into that modal. But you wouldn't want that modal to appear and move your focus into it just because you tabbed over the button, right? You want to be able to tab past stuff. So this article is basically saying that uh, a change of context is something that um, is, I, I would explain it as something that triggers or an event that fires as a result of normally hitting a button is instead happening on focus. So you hit a button, you expect something to happen. Leave it that way. Don't, don't trigger things when you focus to it unless it's something like a drop-down menu expanding. You would expect that. That is um, an example of a change of context, um, but that's the sort of thing that we do expect to happen. So. Uh, submitting forms, navigating to different parts of the page, redirecting your focus to a different element. We don't want these things to happen when we tab over content. One of the examples they have in the documentation is as you're tabbing through sections of a list, uh, they have implemented a help dialog or a tooltip that appears every time you get over something that has one of these relevant tooltips. If you tabbed to the tooltip, and the tooltip appeared and it moved your focus in there and you had to tab past it or out of it each time, that would be failing this criteria. Uh, so just keep in mind that we don't want to trigger things uh, when we tab to them or focus them. Okay, that's all there is for this video. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you in the next one.